And what's going on guys, we're here with another GPU teardown. This is a Zotac GeForce GTX 560 Ti. This is a blower uh, style card. There's a few different variants of the GTX 560 Ti. I don't know exactly what this one is. Uh, I'm going to put in the video a ZT5-0306 right down there. And see if hopefully that will help with people's search results or whatever. So, I've got my screwdrivers, all of my screwdrivers, I've got my precision bit uh, set, and let's get started here. So, first off, we need to take off, there's a lot of screws, I know, there's, uh, we gotta take off these, these screws here, all of these screws. These, you do not need to take off, this is purely for the fan, and your fan connector actually is right there. So be aware of that. Um, don't worry about these. The these do not worry about these. These are for a what I'm guessing is a heat sink underneath of some kind. So let's get started. This is a. I don't believe this has an IHS on the die. IHS is an integrated heat spreader. It's it was on really old GPUs back in the day, but now we just have bare dies for better cooling. Uh, capacity or for better I don't know what the word is whatever the word is just for better cooling so when you take these off please take them in a crosswise pattern and be very careful so let's get started I'm going to take off the outer screws first because these are what what is connecting this directly to the uh, not cooler, to the shroud. And I would rec I wouldn't recommend a parts tray for this card. Actually, you can even, because of these style cards, typically they have a giant heat sink underneath, but we're going to take this out. Be mindful of that fan connector right there. Man, that's lovely looking. Give me one minute. Man, yummy, delicious, not really. This was likely in the home of a smoker. I was thinking of maybe finding a different name for my uh, teardowns. What do you guys think? Because it's sort of like explorations less than teardowns you know so now that you have this all together you can just put the shroud to the side for the moment we're not going to need it at the moment so this this heat sink is held on by these screws which we will take off because I don't know how old this paste is and I really want to replace it I'm going to do them again in a crosswise pattern, easing them up slowly at a time, one at a time. I'm actually probably being too aggressive. These cards that I'm doing uh, for this set of teardowns are working cards, so I get, I'm a little bit more sweatier than usual. So this should just, if you give it a little bit of a twist, come off. Okay, so this does have an in integrated heat sprayer. You don't have to be as gentle with it as you want. So now that that's apart, if you want to get this plate off, we're going to just that. If you want to get this plate off, you have to take off these hex 5 uh, bits, nut bits. <laughs> you got to take off these these uh, nuts and they're for a size hex 5 and and additionally you have to take off oops sorry you have to take off that screw and it should just come off uh, putting that to the side let's get back to the shroud so like I said before if you want to take off the fan from the shroud you would take out these screws And if they don't budge right away, what I like to do 
is I sort of like twist them a twist them the other way, not not like giving a lot of force, and then uh, trying to twist them out. I don't know why it just works for me though. There you go. Sometimes it's a little bit more difficult than it would seem. So this should just lift out the fan. There's your fan. And that fan has seen better days. So. Now, I don't believe there is any way to get this fan out. No. So this fan will not come out of the shroud. Just so you are aware of that. And that's actually it. I'll save the cleaning for after I'm done here. Uh, that's it for this teardown. Uh, it's just a basic teardown to show you what you're getting into. Yada, 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 yada. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, favorite, comment. Like, favorite, comment. Like, comment, subscribe, and ding dong notification bell if you want to see or keep up to date with anything else I post. And uh, I hope this helps somebody. Take care. Later.